Alright, uh, to follow up on the video I made yesterday, the Cavaliers have locked up home court advantage throughout with their win. Detroit has locked into the 8th seed with their loss. They're guaranteed the 8th seed. Chicago is currently in the 6th slot. And if they win and the 76ers lose one of their last two games, they keep the 6th seed. However, if they lose and the Sixers split their last two games, or Chicago wins and the Sixers win out, the Sixers would get the 6th seed, I believe, and Chicago would take the... Um, seventh seed, if I understand the tiebreakers right. Dallas won yesterday, meaning they will lock up the seventh seed with a win or a Utah loss. I they're out of range for the sixth seed, I believe, because of they don't have the tiebreaker with the uh, Hornets because they lost the season series. Yeah, um, the Rockets lock up the third seed with winning their last game or Portland losing their last game plus San Antonio losing their last game. So they could lose and if Portland and San Antonio both lose they still get the third seed. New Orleans will lock up the sixth seed with a win or a loss plus a Dallas loss plus a Utah loss. So excuse me right there Dallas could get the sixth seed if they win and New Orleans loses. My bad. But New Orleans can lock up the sixth seed by winning their last game, or Dallas losing plus Utah losing. Denver will lock up the second seed by winning their last game, or Houston losing their last game. So it looks like it'll be theirs. But they do have to go to at Portland, which is a tough game. The Jazz will take the seventh seed with a win plus a Dallas loss, and the sixth seed with a win plus a Dallas loss, plus a New Orleans loss to close the year. So they could still get up there. Probably not, though. It's not in their hands. The Blazers will seal their fourth seed with a win or a San Antonio loss and can get the third seed with a win plus a Houston loss and fall to the fifth seed if they lose and San Antonio wins. And by... Uh, derivation. The Spurs take the fourth seed with a win plus a Portland loss, and they can also get the third seed with a win plus a Portland loss plus a Houston loss. That's all the stuff that came from what happened yesterday. Uh, the stakes tonight, they're really simple. The Sixers are playing the Celtics. If the Sixers win, they move into the sixth slot. That could still change on the last day, but if they win tonight against the Celtics, I wouldn't count on it, but if they win, they take the sixth spot momentarily. And Utah plays the Lakers. If Utah wins, then it'll come down to the last day what their seed is. If they win tomorrow, then they will be watching the Dallas game. If Dallas loses, they get the sixth seed. Excuse me, the seventh seed. If Utah wins tonight and Dallas and New Orleans loses tomorrow, Utah can steal the six seeds. So that's what's at stake tonight, just real simple. Nothing gets locked up tonight, but if Utah loses, they're guaranteed the eighth seed, and that's that. And that may be likely at this point. So that's what's going on. I just wanted to run through all that real quick so I can kind of get my head right as well as hopefully some of you out there. So see you guys later.